You're cute. <clears throat> Comment down below if you have questions. You might get a reply um, in a video. Yes. Hello, dear friends. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. Uh -huh. My name is Jory, and this is my lovely wife. Bename or Make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Don't forget to like, share, turn on your notification bell. So you know, know when a new, new video comes, comes out. out. Thank you. Tips for black women. Mm -hmm. What you should do when a white guy is interested. Yes. So this topic, this video idea came from one of our viewers who wrote a very long comment and asked us, what do I do about this? <laughs> so Jory's gonna go ahead and read her comment and mm -hmm. we shall proceed. All right. Mm -hmm. OMGs, there's this white guy at work that I'm almost positive has been trying to get my attention. And watching this video is making me finally realize that. And it's been months that he's been doing some subtle moves. I never noticed any of these things because I always felt like white guys are way out of my league. Mm -hmm. I grew up lacking self-confidence when it came to guys in general, so a white guy added to that makes it even worse for me. Like, why me? What's so special about this black woman? Mm -hmm. I'm surrounded by a lot of gorgeous women at work, which also makes me not think too much of the subtle moves he usually makes. Mm -hmm. I even had another black woman approach me two weeks ago saying, um, I think that guy is super into you. And I was like, what? Are you sure? Isn't he just being nice to me or something? <laughs> yeah. She said, no, he smiles differently with me. His face lights up when I talk with him. He blushes and his cheeks get super red and laughs differently with me. And I never saw any of these things, mainly because I'm at work and I'm usually really serious about whatever job I'm doing and going to tunnel vision. I'm also working on getting a promotion, which made it even harder for me to notice his moves. Ugh. Now what do I do? How do I show him that I finally see it all? I've never in my life dated a white guy, so this is totally out of the norm for me. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I understand the frustration and like the curiosity like or like the nervousness. How do I go about this? But first mm -hmm. we wanted to address her mindset a little bit. Right. Because it seems to be, like she said, it lacked self she lacked self confidence. Sure. It's totally not out of your league. Girl. Right. Like don't don't think that way. Right. Um, we're not picking at you or anything like that because I can just, for my story, mm -hmm. when he approached me, I thought the same thing, like, why is this white guy into me? Like, aren't you supposed to be with a, you know, blue, um, blonde hair, blue eye girl? Like, why are you <laughs> looking this way? You know, it just, cause yeah, I thought white guys were cute, but like, I just never thought, mm, they liked black women. I thought for sure they would go after their own kind. You know what I mean? Like, I, <laughs> I just didn't realize, like, you know, I'd be looking at the chocolate, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah, that is a mindset I had to change because, A, I right. am a beautiful woman. Right. I was a beautiful woman. So it was just like, well, you know, some people just look at people for who they are. If you're beautiful, you're beautiful. It doesn't matter your skin color. Right. I, if a guy's attracted to you, it doesn't matter what your skin tone looks like. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's already interested. Mm -hmm. He's shown that. And so he doesn't think he's out of your league. He may even think that you're out of his. Right. And so I know for me, approaching Biname was really difficult. Yeah. And she was very, she's a, was and is a very attractive <laughs> lady. Uh -huh. And so it was already hard for me to approach her. And there's, he's not making a distinction that I believe in terms of league. I don't think, right. I think that's, I think that's a misunderstanding. I think uh, there's no league, uh, regardless of what your socioeconomic background is right. or anything. Yeah. Um, when a man and a woman love each other, there's not a league thing. Mm -mm. Um, and so I, I think that's a misnomer that uh, there may be someone who's born into a much lower uh, position socially, mm -hmm. um, but maybe a much classier person or whatever mm -hmm. it might be. Or he looks too mm -hmm. good for her. That could sure. be, you know. But girl, <laughs> if he is laughing around your boo boo, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't underestimate yourself. Yes. Don't don't devalue yourself. Yes. Uh, because he sees something really valuable. Yeah. So. So I would say like if you can get that mindset like mm -hmm. under control, confidence, confi yeah, yeah mm -hmm. and boost up your confidence, like man, I'm fearfully one <laughs> <laughs> Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> so like that was the first thing we wanted to address. Right. Um, so then we're gonna go ahead and go into some tips. Tip number one is So you can just ask directly. 
and that may be your best bet. Yeah. Like cut through all the nonsense uh -huh. and just ask him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, I understand that it can be a little risky, but this is what Biname did. After a while, I did. <laughs> after a while of me showing interest, she just asked. Well, like I was just oblivious to what he's doing. Like you, I just thought this guy, white guy, was being nice to me. Like would wait for me, would walk me to my car. Like just was into me. I was the only person in class he spoke to, really. Um, I didn't think anything of it. Like, you know, again, I was thinking in terms of he is not into a black woman. Uh, clearly he was. Okay. <laughs> but, um, so then finally one day he was taking me to my car. He walked me to my car and um, he asked me what I was doing. I was like, I was going to go to an orthodontist appointment. And then finally he made a comment like, do you have a boyfriend? And I'm just like, no. He goes, a pretty girl like you don't have a, a boyfriend. I was like, hold on. <laughs> that sounds like a player line. So then I just kind of looked at him. I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking. I was just like, wait, do you like me or something? <laughs> just like that. <laughs> and um, I wasn't thinking about the consequences of what if he would have said no. Right. It was just like, it felt right and I didn't know what else, how else to respond. So then when I asked him, he was like, yeah, I do. I was like, oh, okay. And so from my side, like of the spectrum, for me, like not having dated anyone. At all, yeah. Like I had had some like, oh, they're kind of cute or uh -huh. whatever, but I never really pursued anyone. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't really know how it's supposed to go. I just like, I knew I liked her. And so I was trying to be close to her and be around her. And, yeah. And so, and I was just like trying to treat her nice or whatever, you know? Yeah. And so I really was just like, yeah, I'm interested, but I didn't know exactly how to proceed. I just right. did things to be close to her and be nice to her. And mm -hmm. the more I got to like walk with her after class or whatever, the better in, in my mind. Mm -hmm. And, and so when, when, you know, I was just curious, like, you know, is this someone that's like even at all interested? Available? Just like, Do you have a boyfriend? Then when she asked me, I was just like, well, yeah. <laughs> what, what am I gonna say? Yeah. I mean, I'm not smooth enough to like come up with some kind of fancy line or you know or play any games. I was yeah. just like, yeah. <laughs> but he so, to me, he came across so confident. Right. To her, it came across as confidence. I was, like, I was just hmm, like, that sounded like I don't know how to respond. Listen, I, I listen, guess yeah. I dealt yes. with too many y'all. Like I know that that line. Like, a oh, pretty girl like come on now like but he was serious <laughs> tip number two would be indirectly asking if he's sure. interested and yeah. that's going through that friend of yours that said girl <laughs> i think he is interested yeah. in you so have her do some investigation if you are a little nervous <laughs> about being direct right so that is yeah. what i she, would she seems to be watching the uh -huh. atmosphere at work uh -huh. she seems to be you know in the know she yeah. has the scuttlebutt on what's going on so <laughs> she might be the one to do a little further investigating. Yeah, and I mean, that should say a lot. The fact that someone else is picking up right. what's yeah. going on. Yeah, that gives an outside perspective. Yeah, yeah. That, should, that, that also is an indicator that yeah. he is probably interested. Yeah. Like, if someone else can tell, like, that guy right. is a little too happy. Right, if she's picking up those subtleties, right. then she may also be able to like pick up subtleties the other way too. Like, right. like hey, um, more information. She may be able to derive a little more information mm -hmm. just from watching and maybe having a conversation with him. And mm -hmm. she might be able to get you a little more intel. Yeah. <laughs> and this comment was written from our previous video called Fisher Black Queen. So, I don't know if a white guy's yeah. interested. So this is a follow up to that based yes. on this comment from our viewer. Now we're going to give more tips to our black women on how you should respond. Right. Like. Okay. The next tip is. If you're still a little unsure and you're you're not wanting to put yourself out there and risk it too much, mm -hmm. maybe suggest a group outing. Yeah. You could get together with a few other people at work and say, hey, let's go do this, and then invite him. Say, a few of us are going here, we're gonna go grab supper, we're gonna go whatever that the lunch. outing is. Yeah. yeah. And just say, Do you wanna come with us? And so you are the one asking him, mm -hmm. which already says something, but doesn't say too much. Too much. So, so because you're the one initiating it, he might say, oh, she's the one that asked me out mm -hmm. of the whole group. Mm -hmm. And yet it doesn't put you totally on the spot Yeah. Uh, because there is a whole group. And right. so he can, he can either think something of it or not, but it definitely gives him a chance to say, oh, it's a chance for me to be around her mm -hmm. and get a, a chance to get a little closer in a risk-free environment. So for both of you, it's less risky. Do a group thing. 
So I would definitely invite that girl who noticed something. Ha, ha, ha. She can be <laughs> peeping. Her, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. so she be like, honey, keep an eye out. I got I'm, I'm trying to learn. <laughs> so definitely invite her yeah, right, because her, then yeah. she can kind of, you know, play both sides, trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> and if she's the type of girl I think she is, she could be the one to say, I think you got something for her. You should just tell her. <laughs> the nudge. <laughs> yes. yes. She might be able to nudge him a little bit. I think, I don't think she Sounds could be like interested. he's already, I mean, yeah, he's, He's already interested, but maybe he does need a little nudge because yes. he may be a little nervous uh -huh. too. Yeah. 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 If he's, if he's anything like me, I mean, <laughs> I finally, I finally spoke with you, but it took some, <laughs> it took some like getting over that nervousness. Um, you did well. You looked, <laughs> man. I used to think this guy was in the army. Like you, your stature, the way you walked and presented yourself, it was like he is serious about, about what he wants. Okay, so the last tip would be, uh, this might be a hard one, but I don't know how old you are, but when I was 20, 19, 20 years old, I already definitely knew what I wanted. I did not have time to play games, to go roundabout ways, so that's why I was able to figure or ask Jory directly, mm -hmm. listen, what are we doing here? What are your here? intentions? Yeah, What's like, going on? Because I didn't have time to play. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I would just suggest maybe um, become mature or prepare yourself to um, receive or be able to take rejection mm -hmm. okay yeah. does that make sense does yeah you kind of you need to be in a place where if he if he does back out and say no I wasn't I didn't really mean anything by mm -hmm. it that you're not totally devastated right. and so there's some work that we each need to do on our own on ourselves yes um, to get in a place where we're healthy, mm -hmm. um, single, or together, together with someone. someone. There's always the possibility that there could be a rejection. Yeah. And and so, uh, yeah, you need to find yourself in a good, mm -hmm. um, emotionally and mentally in a good place, a healthy place. Mm -hmm. uh, and and that, that works well for if you're going to continue being single or if you are going to be in a relationship. Right. You don't want to go in too broken. Yes. Uh, because... The truth is your partner's not going to fix they you. They can't fix you. Yeah. <laughs> you can't expect that. Yeah. And so so you do need to be in a mature place where you can um, where you can receive that. And I mean, I understand if 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 you had your hopes set on something and then it doesn't work out, there is going to be a little pain there. Mm -hmm. um, but not yeah. pain, just a little disappointment. Don't disappointment. Because yeah. <laughs> he's not the only um, person out there that right. would ever be interested in you. Right. I can definitely Obviously. say that. Yeah. <laughs> For me, like I was telling Jory, there was a guy I was interested in before. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, you know, I finally told him, I was like, yeah, I think you're cute or whatever, you know. <laughs> and he knew the type of woman I was, which mm -hmm. was I'm not here to play low games. Mm -hmm. Listen, either we're going to go into a relationship or not. And he was like, very forthcoming and he was like no i'm not interested huh. um he wasn't trying to waste your time That's right respectable because he knew i wanted to be married i didn't want you to date me for sure. you know five years how, and yeah. like not mm -hmm. and so for that for that reason i have respect for that person mm -hmm. because he didn't lead me on he right. didn't play with my emotions right. he just kind of said it like it was i was not disappointed i was not upset again because i knew mm -hmm. Like I was an attractive woman and it was like, okay, it just didn't work out with him. Yeah. And that was to me, directly to me, it wasn't like a <laughs> roundabout way. It was a right. conversation we had. Right. So like be encouraged in that. Stand, stand firm and stand with dignity knowing yeah. that it is not a big deal if someone says, no, I was just being friendly or whatever. Right. You're very valuable. Mm -hmm. You, your confidence uh, should be intact and in place because you are valuable. Yeah. And regardless of how they respond, mm -hmm. um, someone is definitely going to value right. the true value in you. Right. So we hope those tips have helped you. Mm -hmm. If not, if you have further questions, comment down comment, below. Yes. If you um, have a specific question you don't want us to read out loud or whatever, go ahead and email us. And the email is usually in our description box yep. below. If you haven't seen our first video on this, uh, tips for black queens, mm -hmm. how to know if a white guy is interested, please go check it out. Yeah, and then come here and watch this tips for black women, uh, what, how you should respond when he is interested. Yes. So thank you guys so much for watching. And with that, dear friends, keep, keep looking, looking up. up.